So to address the elephant in the room, you know, it's uncomfortable speaking on topics like this, but honestly, this shit gotta stop. You know, it's, it's, it's really bothering me to a degree that it's making me want to challenge people and of other ethnicities in a whole totally different way. I'm not going to sit here and act like I was a Nipsey fan when he was alive and, you know, I was, you know, whatever, whatever. But, you know, on his passing, you know, I paid attention to who he was more of and uh, what he stood for. You know, I respect that man dearly. You know, I wish I was more on his wave when he was alive. But this mocking him, shit is going to have to stop. This right here that what Shorty's talking about is um, it's stupid. She doesn't know what she's speaking on. Um, she's claiming that the song that is being said right here is um, from Nipsey Hussle. She's laughing at the fact that he passed. And, you know, I guess, you know, because he passed because of the song, you know, FDT, F Donald Trump, is, um, is I guess, it's a relevance of him passing, I guess, you know, trying to insinuate that he was a bad dude. To say goodbye to rapper Nipsey Hussle. Now, this dear artist recently released a song called FDT. F Donald Trump. Okay, now that's a very creative refrain. Very catchy. Very catchy. catchy. Irving and Berlin, is look it, out. Is it? <laughs> it all began and ended with Irving Berlin yeah. for you, didn't it? Yeah. Um, so the the refrain, the chorus, it goes on and on. Is that related to the lowest unemployment ever, basically, oh, okay. for African Americans? But, but now, for those who might not remember, <laughs> this is 70s. Come on down. Wasn't he on Hollywood Squares? Nipsey Hustle. Hustle. Uh. I, I, I'm, I, this, I'm sorry. This, this just bothers me. It bothers me because this is, this is, this is corny. This is stupid. You know, because if this was somebody black, this would be, this would be totally different. But you know what? The crazy thing about it, this happened to a black person. This girl, this woman, and this jerk sitting next to her both need to be fired for making a mockery of a man that changed lives forever. I don't understand why I need to come on my YouTube channel and need to be passionate about someone else's incompetence. Because they have to, they don't have a filter in their mouth, or you know, because they have these um, ideal thoughts of these, you know, these racial things that comes out their mouth, or you know, abruptly comes out by mistake. You know, it's just supposed to be like, oh, I apologize. You know, I didn't mean anything. You know, I have black friends. <laughs> I voted for Obama. Not even understanding that these are racist comments. Not even understanding. Jamil Hill was an analyst for ESPN. Um, She's one of the best analysts out there. Uh, one of the only female analysts that I think I've seen on ESPN. And she had, a, had made a big statement not too long ago that had actually got her fired from ESPN. Basically, she was fired for calling the kettle black. Um, she basically called Donald Trump a racist, you know, and one of the most incompetent, um, ruthless presidents that she has ever seen in her lifetime. Um, she stated that he has no filter, and it seems like he doesn't care about anybody else but himself and, you know, the people of his, um, his caring. He is not suitable and not fit to be the president of the United States. Um, it then went viral, it went crazy, got back to Trump, and, and he demanded that she was fired uh, because she shouldn't talk against him and, you know, influence so many people out there and say these negative things and, like, she said something weird, and it was just like, um... ESPN didn't did let her go. Um, they then did fire her, and I mean, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but um, Trump is not the greatest president. You know, these things that she said is actual factual. You know, these are actual real real facts. This right here is actually lies, assumptions. You know, just because I guess you know we're just black. You know, we all just look alike. We all just sound alike. So you're gonna just assume out of all people, because you know nothing about black culture, you know nothing about rap, that you're gonna assume that this is the song that one person that just died made, right? Honestly, if you knew your, if you knew what you were talking about, you would know that it was YG that made the song, and it was not Nipsey Hussle. But think about it: is is what made you, what made you say Nipsey Hussle? That's what, that's 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 going over people's head. Like out of all rappers, what made you think that it was Nipsey? Is it because, you know, skinny, braids, you're just going to assume that they're all looking alike? You know, like, like, you know, we're all the same, you know, and that's, and that type of incompetence is so, it's so stupid. It's a joke. 
we gonna stop letting this slide. You're not gonna keep you're not gonna keep talking to us and making us feel like um, you know, we need to tread lightly on I'm gonna make you feel very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Since we are born into this world, since we walk on this earth, we are forced to be uncomfortable because we're so told that we're not wanted here, that we weren't supposed to be here, and all of these things and whatnot. We're, we're, we're looked upon differently from authorities, from hierarchies, from jobs, everything. And, and, and now we have to be victimized to this on Fox News? Both of them need to be fired. Both of them need to be let go right now. If, if, if you watch Fox News, I ain't gonna lie, you need to boycott it. There's so many different newses out there, but, but this right here is pure... Bull. So many people was mad about what uh, Jameel Hill said on uh, ESPN. They were outraged. They was like, oh, she should not be saying that. I hope the energy is the same right now. I hope the energy is the same right now. Understand the impact that this man had on people's lives. He sold out the stable center. The previous greatest president of all time, Obama, brought a letter towards this man. He was changing lives, getting people off the street, people that's coming out of jail, getting them jobs. Making sure that they wasn't in type of no type of nonsense. These two analysts will never have an impact like this man had ever in their life. All they'll be doing is sitting behind a desk, probably getting the wrong news to the nation, you know, just trying to look pretty for camera, throwing on makeup, and never doing nothing else with their lives. Nothing else. This right here is pure bullshit. Like, like, call it how you see it. Call it how you see it. The thing about it is, is that, you know, people are gonna, probably going to be like, well, you know, it, it wasn't that serious, it wasn't that. The thing about it is, is why would you think out of all people it was Nipsey? Why would you even take that chance of even taking this leap to speak on it? Like I said, I wasn't a Nipsey fan before this, you know, like I said, now I'm looking more into it. But I respect that man, and I respect that man as a black man. I respect any black man. I'm a black man myself. I'm a king. I have to be victimized and, and worried about when I'm walking through the street, when I walk past cops, when, I, when, when, when I'm walking past even white people, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to think that I'm going to act a certain way towards them because they have to turn their pocketbooks and put it on the side. These are things that we deal with every day, every single day. These are things that we got to teach our kids, our kids' kids. Do you not understand how uncomfortable that is? So I'm going to make you uncomfortable. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you understand and watching this, this makes you very uncomfortable. Because if it makes you uncomfortable, then you have, you have human traits. What you do with, then after that lets you know who you are as a person. At the end of the day, if there, if there was an x-ray, it would just show your skeleton, it would show my skeleton. You can't see skin. You can't see blood. You can't see hair, you can't see anything. We have the same makeup. We are made from the same creator. God blessed us both. Stop looking at the color of our skin and looking at who we are on, on the inside. That right there is pure bullshit. At the end of this all, you know, a black analyst was fired because, you know, Trump felt the way about being called out. Nipsey Hussle was dead and got called out by two analysts um, on Fox News that know nothing what they're talking about. And he can't defend for himself. So I'll be the first to defend for him. Laura Ingram and the jerk that's sitting next to her needs to be fired from Fox News. The boycott starts now.